amazing weekend uh, for us this this past weekend. Um, Friday night we uh, we played Creighton University, who uh, I don't what are they in the Valley? I think I, uh, the soccer coaches text me and they were very happy about us beating them. We were able to beat them. I think. 13 to 2, I don't know any scores this weekend was a, a blur. But uh, I think we won about 13 to 2. Creighton, uh, Kelsey struck out 12 or 13 through a four hitter. Uh, we had numerous girls swing the bat well. Then uh, that night after that, we played Northern Iowa. We won four to three in eight innings. Uh, Northern Iowa was 40 and 15 last year. That was a, a big win for us. Then Saturday morning, uh, I think we played we played Northern Iowa again. We had to match up with them again because we had some teams from the same conference didn't want to play each other. Uh, we threw our, our number two pitcher, Sarah Clampett, uh, against them. Uh, we were the visitors. They walked. It was 13 nothing before you could blink first inning. They walked about the first six, five, six in a row. We scored 13 runs on about six hits. They made a bunch of errors. But uh, uh, the next game was against Grambling. Uh, Kelsey threw that game through a no-no. One pit, you know, one. One, one bobble away from an arrow, swung the bats well. It was 20 to two, uh, eight to nothing. All right, there we go. Uh, Coach Shock saw all 17 or 15 games. Uh, anyway, so the Grambling game a little tighter, eight nothing. And then, and then at night we played Pine Bluff and I think Sierra threw that game and Kelsey Barker, okay? So that game was 20 to two. And then uh, yesterday we played Ball State. Ball State, regular season champs in the MAC, uh, really good team. We beat them six nothing. Uh, we had 12 hits and six runs. They had seven hits. She struck out 12 again or 13. Uh, she gave up about four doubles, but every time the runner get on second, then she'd get a strikeout or two, and that's nice uh, to see. Had a good weekend. Comes down to, you know, last week we talked about the uh, key to our our team is defensively. When we're sound. And when our pitchers pitched our defense, they do really well. And our starting pitching this weekend, you know, it's, it just kept getting better. Friday, Saturday, Sunday just kept getting better and better. Caleb McClanahan came out and threw outstanding on Friday night and uh, just just handled uh, Jackson State, did very well as far as that goes. And then, of course, on, on Saturday, Jeff Inlow, starting pitcher, went the full nine uh, against Kansas, uh, 10 strikeouts, was just outstanding. Uh, Caleb, I think, what Caleb, I don't think he walked. We had zero walks on Friday night. We had one walk on Saturday. So we went 18 innings with one walk. And then yesterday we had zero walks, of course, with Bryce's uh, no hitter. Uh, did hit one batter, but we had, so we had two walks on the whole weekend as far as starting pitching goes. So that, that's, that's our guys sticking to it. And like we talked about, if pitch to our defense, their stuff is better. Our defense is the backbone of our team. We do that, good things will happen. But overall, like I said, defensively, outstanding. Our offense approach was great. I was proud of our guys. Had a lot of good quality at bats. And then, of course, starting pitching, Caleb McClanahan, Jeffrey Inlow. And then, like I said, Bryce, congratulations once again on a great effort, great outing. And uh, no hitter yesterday. And it was just uh, it's good team baseball. I was proud of our guys. I've uh, been on the road. Um... We played Oral Roberts. It's been a couple weeks since I've been here, I think, yeah. Um, played Oral Roberts. I thought we, we played well. Uh, came up short, uh, still turning the ball over. We had 18, 18 turnovers, and it cost us 24 points. So you got you know, you got to take care of the ball. But um, we've been able to get into practice, have some quality practice, and we've got a tough week ahead of us. Uh, Lamar and then McNeese. And, and we'll come back home and finish up with Oral Roberts and then head to the tournament. And Steve talked about, you know, we went to Oral Roberts early in the week. Uh, it was their senior night, and uh, we ran into a buzzsaw. Uh, I mean, they came out, and they were, they were really hot and on fire, to say the least. Uh, the first half, they, were, they ended the first half being up 50 to 27. And uh, I just thought we were a little overwhelmed with the talent. Uh, with their ability to make shots, and I thought they really defended us well in the first half, uh, limiting us to just 27 points. Um, just looking back at that game, uh, you know, the second half we actually uh, played a lot better. Uh, they outscored us by six points, but uh, the first half was really tough on us. Uh, throughout the game, though, uh, they, they, they really beat us up in the paint. They scored 54 points to our 34 points in the paint, and then they really killed us on the boards. They had 56 rebounds to our 38. Uh, with that, uh, 26 offensive rebounds for uh, 24, excuse me, 26 points off of 24 offensive rebounds. And uh, that, that, was, that was pretty tough. 
you know, uh, they, they had some big guys who were pretty strong. Their forwards were pretty strong and, and athletic. Uh, we kind of matched them a little bit on our offensive glass. We had 19, I believe, but um, we, we just couldn't make shots. Uh, move forward to SIU Edwardsville, and we were fortunate enough to win the game on Saturday. Uh, starting the game off, though, uh, got a little nervous there. They came out and uh, kind of reminded me a little bit of Oral Roberts. They, they were on fire in the first half, but uh, ended up shooting 54% uh, from the field and 40% from the three-point line and 75% from the free throw line. So, uh, you know, I almost thought that we were at their place instead of ours, where they shot the basketball. Um, and uh, as a result, we were down, what, 36 to 43 at the half. Uh, but I thought our guys came back in the second half and, and made the adjustments that we needed to make. Uh, we attacked the basket a lot better in the second half. Uh, the crazy thing about it was, uh, I believe at the 11:54 mark in the first half, uh, that's when they took the lead. And uh, between that point and the four minute and four 43 second uh, mark in the second half, there were six ties. Uh, we kept coming back. We get it close. They take off. We get it close. We take it off. But at the 4:43 mark, we finally took the lead. And um, I was really proud of our guys, you know, 77, 73 with a minute 54 to go. This happened, we finally got back on the winning track after losing five in a row. Our guys have some confidence now going into this stretch run and conference play.